The Case of the Wandering Ghost. It's holiday camp at our school. We had to choose between a ski trip with Miss Stratford or exploring an island with Mr. Tomlinson. What would you have chosen? Skiing, right? Well, guess what? Charlie chose the island and convinced us to go too. Because islands are just full of mysteries. Guess the other students didn't feel that way because we're the only ones who signed up to come here. Except for our principal's entire family. I guess Principal Siggy's wife and daughter felt sorry for him. I just hope we get through it. Dad, I'm getting seasick. Can I have some candy? Will that help with seasickness? Totally, I know it works. Hmm. Hmm. At least share it with your friends, Lindy. Want some candy? Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Thanks. Uh, can I have a chocolate one instead? You get what you're given. Oh, look, we're almost there. Mysteries, here we come. Kids, this island is so interesting historically that I've decided we're going to do an in-depth research project on the people who once lived here. The Vikings. Everyone who chose not to sign up for this trip will be extremely sorry. A project? I thought we were on holidays. Good sir. Kids, let me introduce you to the manager of the camping area we're staying in, Mr. Zaver. How do you do, guys? He can be very useful for our research project. He knows lots of stories about the Vikings. Come on, tell them something. By the horns of Thor, of course. Do you know the Vikings were experts at carving amber? Amber is a precious stone that's frequently found on these beaches, <laughs> though I haven't been lucky today. Amber is the only precious stone of vegetable origin. It's fossilized resin formed in organic sediments and has been Remind me again, why didn't we go skiing? Since we're here, why don't we just go look for some um. amber? This area is dangerous. With the fog and all these rocks, you could get hurt. We could show it to the school, do a presentation. They'd be amazed. Please, Dad. Hmm. Not a bad idea, but don't go too far and stay together. You always let her do what she wants. Um. I didn't know you were so interested in Amber, Charlie. I'm not looking for Amber. I'm looking for clues to help solve our case. What case? I don't know yet. But something will turn up. We are on an island, remember? Wow! This place is pretty cool! And look at all those people! It's like they're waiting for something. Oh! Wow! Ooh. Look! Hey dudes, what is that? It's a ghost! Ugh, this place doesn't seem so cool anymore. I told you to stay together, Charlie. We saw a ghost, Dad. Look! Huh? What are you talking about? A ghost? Come on. We can't stay here. When the tide comes in, it could be dangerous. Ghosts don't exist, Lindy. Of course they exist. Why would all these tourists be here if they didn't? You didn't see that thing. It was really spooky, Charlie. We could investigate. Isn't that what you wanted? To investigate mysteries? I will help you. Right, Dandy? We only accept real cases, Lindy. Besides, don't take this the wrong way, but you're not a part of this detective agency. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna prove to you that the ghost really does exist. Good luck with that. Lindy just wants to help. Huh. Do you want to go look for Amber? We didn't get time earlier. Okay. Thanks for sticking up for me. Don't mention it. We girls have to stick together when we're outnumbered, right? 
Sometimes boys think they run everything. <laughs> yes, sometimes. Oh! <gasps> wow, look! A piece of amber! That's so pretty! For my new friend. Hey, you guys. Check this out. Wow! By the horns of Thor, this amulet was obviously made by my ancestors, the Vikings. These figurines gave power to their rituals. What rituals? Rituals to free the spirit of the wandering ghost. <gasps> the spirit of the last Viking warrior got trapped here on the island, and ever since then, he's haunted Viking rock. By the horns of Thor, I've seen him myself many times. It's true, Charlie, see? This afternoon, we saw a silhouette up on the big stone by the sea. That's Viking Rock! I've tried to free the spirit of the warrior with various different rituals, but I've never succeeded. But of course, before now, I never had this amulet. That figurine is mine! I found it! <laughs> Give me! Ow! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Let me keep it, son. There's a full moon tomorrow night. It's the perfect night for the ritual. Stop arguing over that figurine. It belongs to the island, and we're going to donate it to the museum tomorrow. Can I at least keep it for tonight? Very well, but take care of it. If anything happens to it, you'll answer to me, young man. My dad just gave me the whole bag. No! Huh? Uh. My figurine's gone! It's been stolen! Excellent! Now we have a real case! Oh, will you stop being so happy about other people's bad luck? Can I help? No thanks, professionals only. Oh, come on! What harm can it do if we all investigate together? Oh no! Principal Siggy! <sighs> if he finds out you lost that figurine, you'll be in big trouble. Don't tell him, please. Okay, we won't tell him anything until we find out who stole it. Well, aren't we early risers? That's what I like to see, because we've got work to do. First, we'll study the Viking civilization. Then we'll visit an exhibition on the island's plant life. And then we'll go to the Amber Museum, to hand in the figurine, of course. I want you all to have a great time and make this trip the best one ever. So how are we going to investigate now? Daddy, can we explore the island on our own first? Lindy, your father has worked out a program. Sure, we'll do all that stuff. But we'll learn even more if we're on our own. We can make a video of everything we see. That will be an awesome project to show everyone who didn't come. Wouldn't it? Hmm. Please, Dad. A video? That's a good idea. Well, if you stick to the program, I don't see why not. You and I can have a rest, Marta. It won't hurt Lindy if you say no to her occasionally. <sighs> nice! You sure got your dad all figured out. So, can I join the agency? Hmm, okay. But only for the day. Awesome! Not entirely. I knew having Lindy in the agency would cause problems with Charlie. If only he was more open to new people. Very suspicious. He was really interested in the figurine yesterday. Too interested. Is he looking for something? Or maybe he's hiding something. Huh? Oh, by the horns of Thor! <laughs> Good, it's you. Who did you think it was? The police? Hey, what have you got in there? Herbs? And a sandwich. I knew it was strange that the dog had found something. The herbs are for my rituals. Aha! Uh -huh. The rituals you want to do with the Viking figurine. Oh, I wish I could, but your teacher wants to give it to the museum. 
I could do it with a regular piece of amber, except that I gave all the amber I had to Jensen, so I'll have to find a new piece. Who's Jensen? He's our resident amber expert. He has a store in Village Square. Now, now if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. I still need to pick some tarragon and bay leaves. Yeah. Huh? Ugh. You treated him like a serial killer. The poor guy's a little weird, but there's no way he's the thief. How do you know? In an investigation, everyone is a suspect. Hey! Why don't we visit this Jensen guy? If he's an amber expert, maybe he can help us. This is it. My turn! Huh? Morning, kids. How can I help you? Good morning. We found a Viking amulet on the beach yesterday. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Uh, but if it's an amulet, you'll have to take it to the museum. Unfortunately, we lost it. In fact, we think someone stole it. Hmm. Well, that's strange. This island's a very peaceful place. Although you do have ghosts, don't you? Ghosts? She's blown the whole interview. Yesterday, we went to Viking Rock and we saw the wandering ghost. It really exists, doesn't it? Could the ghost be the thief? Hmm. Well, he certainly does exist, yes. Quite the legend around here. But I don't think the ghost stole anything. He's never been seen anywhere but Viking Rock, and I'm sure that's not his purpose to steal things. Why do you say that? Hmm. Right, well, thank you, Mr. Jensen. You've been very helpful. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, good luck, kids. I don't care what Jensen said. Our main suspect has to be the ghost. Did you hear him, Charlie? Everyone around here knows it really exists. Oh, please. Ghosts that steal things? <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, but it makes sense that he would steal it. That figurine belonged to his people. What we need to do is go to the police and work with them. Maybe they know of other cases. Maybe there's an international ring of amber thieves. Okay, let's see what the others think. Who votes in favor of going to the police? Who votes against? Well, this was awkward. I was torn between both of them. But going to the police really works for us. They usually treat us like idiots. Against. Against. Yes. What about you, Fred? Oh. Huh? I vote for Charlie's idea. Well, I win anyway. Three votes to two. So let's go to Viking Rock and investigate the ghost. Did I just vote in favor of investigating the ghost? This is not over yet. Mrs. Tomlinson said this area was dangerous, remember? Look! They're coming to see the ghost, too! Yeah, everyone! It's showtime! Huh? Detectives, our mission is to find out if the ghost is our thief. We will surround him so we can see where he comes from and where his hideout is. That's where you might have the figurine. Yeah, good thinking. Fred and Radish, you take the west side. Uh-huh. Steffi and Charlie, you take the east. All getting closer to the rock itself. Want me to come with you? No, this way will be less conspicuous. Oh, the ghost is never going to show up because the ghost doesn't exist. Then why are there so many sightseers? Oh! Wow! Look! But, but, where did it come from? Why are the police here? Charlie? Is there a Charlie here? That would be me. You called and said there was an emergency, so what's going on? Charlie! The ghost went away because of you! The siren scared it off! You called us out for this? The ghost? Look, we're fed up with this legend. We have more important things to do. Now, 
Move along, will you? This area is very dangerous when the tide comes in. You messed up this time, dude. Yeah, totally. So he could sabotage my plan. You're such an egomaniac. And you're a spoiled little brat who wants everything her own way, daddy's girl. <laughs> that, that's unfair. <laughs> you're so tactless sometimes. Tell her you're sorry, okay? No, I don't trust her. But if you want someone new to lead the agency, go with her. Well, are you going to explain how the project's going? Mm. It's going great, Dad. We hung out with Saver to learn about the island's plant life. We saw an amber exhibit, and we visited the Viking remains on the island. It's been a great day. Fantastic. What about the videos? When can we watch them? Are they impressive? Uh, the videos? Oh, sure. Videos. Weren't you supposed to be making a video to impress everyone back at the school? We didn't make a video. We spent the whole day following Lindy around, and we didn't do anything for the project. Huh? Is that true, Lindy? We didn't have time, Mom. Well then, tomorrow we'll be following my program to the letter, and we'll hand over the figurine first thing in the morning. Because I suppose you didn't have time to do that either, did you? I told you, Sigisbert. You should have said no to her. Thanks a lot, Charlie. Now I'm going to be punished big time. There's no way we can find the figurine before we go to the museum in the morning. What are we going to do? Don't look at me. Lindy can get you out of this one. She's the expert. It's okay. Charlie's just upset. I do have an idea, though. A way of fixing everything. We'll have to get up really early in the morning and go straight to Viking Rock. I'm still convinced the ghost is hiding the figurine there. Could be. We can help Fred if we find it. And we can make a video of the expedition and tell my dad it's our project. It might save us all from his program. That's a great idea. I'll tell the boys. No! If Charlie finds out, he'll ruin everything just to spite me. Yeah. Charlie is acting weird. I'll set the alarm for 6 a.m., okay? I knew it was nice not telling the boys. But the more difficult Charlie made things for us, the closer I felt to Lindy. She really did want to help. At least, that's what I thought. Dandy? Where's Lindy? It's only midnight. What's going on? Where are you taking me, Dandy? Oh. Why is she going to Viking Rock now? That wasn't the plan. Charlie, you guys have to get to Viking Rock. I think Lindy's up to something. What if they don't come? What if Charlie's still mad at me? So? What's the big emergency? Look! <gasps> What's she doing up there? She's trapped. Walk there on her own. Lindy, look out! Oh no! Behind you! Oh no! Let her go! No. Let her go! Let her go! No! What the ghost do to her? Uh. Uh. Wait, the ghost saved her? Get any closer. Stay away. Ooh. Huh? Mr. Mr. Jensen! I was right. He's not a ghost. No, I'm not. I've been dressing up like one for a long time now to keep the legend alive. 
You have no idea how many tourists this stuff brings us. I bet Saber doesn't know about this. Oh, no, he doesn't. And please don't tell him. His Viking legends are all he's got to live for. Besides, the ghost won't be appearing anymore. Why not? I'm getting too old for all this, and seeing the police here yesterday helped me make up my mind. I don't want the entire island finding out that I'm the fool playing the ghost. So it's time to retire him. Promise you won't give my secret away. Go on now, you shouldn't be here. The tide's going to come in even further, and it's dangerous. You're lucky I was here repairing my boat in the moonlight. What about you, Lindy? What were you doing here? It was Lindy who stole the figurine. When you called, Steffi, I suspected Lindy, so I searched your tent, and guess what I found? It was loose, right? It must have fallen out. So where's the rest? <gasps> it was her! You stole the figurine so you could hide it on Viking Rock and incriminate the ghost, didn't you? Of course. And tomorrow morning, when you came here with me, we'd find the figurine together. But instead, the ghost found you. Don't tell Mom and Dad, please. In the end, you proved you're the best detective. My instincts told me she couldn't be trusted. I'm sorry I behaved like such an idiot over dinner. And I'm sorry I didn't listen to you sooner. And you know what the best part is? Ghosts don't exist after all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know what could have happened. They just vanished. We looked everywhere, but... Oh, look! Ah, ah, where were you? Oh, there you are. It was my fault. I led an expedition to the beach to find the ghost, and... Uh, <clears throat> we didn't find it. Or anyone else, either. The ghost? Again? Make sure this is the last time you bother us with tales of ghosts, okay? Or I'll arrest all of you. Charlie! Um, Dad? About that, I, uh... Not now, Lindy. Don't you see I'm punishing someone? It wasn't Charlie's fault. What was that, Lindy? It, it was my fault. I stole the figurine yesterday, and then I wanted to make it look like the ghost was the thief, and... Lindy confessed to everything, and her punishment was... A year without any candy. Well, you have to start somewhere. I was so wrong about her. But at least we solved the mystery. We got the figuring back, and before we took it to the museum, Lindy's mom had an amazing idea. A Viking ritual. That's what I call a great project for the greatest trip. The students who didn't sign up with me will be green with envy. Tonight, we'll free the spirit of the wandering ghost. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>